Greetings, friends. Max Locato here. A few years back, three questions rocked my world. They came from different people in the span of a month. The first question, had you been a German Christian during World War II, would you have taken a stand against Hitler? Question two, had you lived in the South during the civil rights conflict, would you have taken a stand against racism? The third question, when your grandchildren discover you lived during a day in which 1.75 billion people were poor and 1 billion people were hungry, how will they judge your response? You know, I didn't mind the first two questions. They were hypothetical. I'd like to think I would have taken a stand against Hitler and fought against racism, but those days are gone and those choices were not mine. But the third question, that one has kept me awake at night. I do live today and so do you. And we are given a choice, an opportunity to make a big difference during a difficult time. What if we did? What if we rocked the world with hope? What if we infiltrated the far corners of the world with God's love and God's life? What if we followed the example of the Jerusalem church? This tiny sect exploded into a world-changing force. We still drink from their wells and eat from their trees of faith. How did they do it? What can we learn from their priorities and their passion? Outlive Your Life tells their story. It is a story of hillbillies and simple folk, netcasters and tax collectors, a story of a movement that exploded like a just open fire hydrant out of the streets of Jerusalem and spilled to the ends of the earth into the streets of Paris, the districts of Rome, and the ports of Athens, Istanbul, Shanghai, Buenos Aires. A story so mighty, controversial, and head-spinning that two millennia later, a middle-aged, red-headed author from Texas would be writing a book that wonders, might it happen again? This is the hope of my new book, Outlive Your Life, You Were Made to Make a Difference. Walking through the first 12 chapters of Acts, we see firsthand how a few faithful people can change the world and we're asking the Lord to do it again. Lord, use us average Joes, both individually and as a whole, to make a difference that will last far beyond our years. Let us not be overwhelmed by the need, but let us focus on the one who meets the ultimate need. None of us can help everyone, but all of us can help someone. And when we help them, we serve Jesus. So let's hear it for the difference maker. I'm thanking God that you are one of them.